Newsom, we are calling on you to cancel Animal Ag. We're gonna take this little girl out. And with coronavirus on everyone's mind, we wanna show everyone where these diseases are really coming from. It's not just wildlife markets in China. These diseases are brewing in farms all around us, even here in California. So we're going to document and show the world the filthy and crowded conditions of farms here in the U.S. Governor Newsom, we are calling on you to cancel Animal Ag. You have declared a state of emergency and taken swift action in the face of COVID-19. But what about the next pandemic? Look around me. What are you doing to stop the next pandemic from brewing in a place just like this, filthy and crowded? People are scared, and we are looking to our government for help, and you are failing us. My mom is 70 years old. Last time she got sick, she almost died from pneumonia. If she catches COVID-19, she could die. Even if she survives, what about the next one? I told my mom not to leave the house, but will she ever be able to leave her house again? Just this month, a poultry farm in Germany confirmed a case of bird flu H5N8. It might not be long before the next bird flu or swine flu comes from a place just like this. DXE activists in multiple states are currently testing for diseases in farms. I'm facing criminal charges for exposing animal cruelty, but more people are rising up. And thousands around the world are taking action online to demand that our governor cancel animal agriculture. The movement is growing for animal rights, public health, and the future of life on this planet. Governor Newsom, will you take a stand? There are three things that you can do today to change the world. Acknowledge the link between animal agriculture and pandemics. Disavow the prosecution of non-violent factory farm whistleblowers like me and make a plan to transition our state to a 100% plant-based food system. This is the only future that is possible for me and my mom, you and your family, and for these animals that are desperately crying out for our help. We're gonna take this little girl out and we're gonna make sure she's somewhere clean and safe. We're gonna name her Diane and make sure that she is well taken care of. You're free. You're finally free, Diane. You're free.